Welcome back. Uh, let us look at this question on trig equation. Okay, the temperature. Okay, the question goes like this. The temperature at T in degree centigrade in a rabbit cage over 24-hour period can be modeled by the function T is equal to 15 plus sine pi T over 12, where T is the number of hours since recording started. For how long is the temperature above 14.6 degrees centigrade? So let me write the function of T with respect to small t. Okay. So T, which is temperature, is 15 plus sine. I'll write this like this. Pi by 12 times T. Okay, where T is the time since the time uh, recording started. So it says the period is 24 hours. So the first thing that I can say is this 15 is the baseline. So 15 is the baseline. Your sine graph starts at the baseline. This, the coefficient of sine is 1. So the amplitude, I'm writing as amplitude is 1. Now maximum is baseline plus amplitude. I'll show this later in the graph, which is 15 plus 1, which is 16 degrees centigrade. And minimum would be baseline minus amplitude, which is 15 minus 1, which is 14 degrees centigrade. So this is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. On x-axis, we're going to draw the time in hours. So t is time in hours hours and on the y-axis we're taking the temperature in degrees centigrade so it's given you've got a period of 24 hours this will also help you see pi by t if you divide 2 pi by pi by t pi by 12 you will get 24 this uh, even if this is not given you can find the period i'll explain that later so you got a period of 24 hours so this sine curve or sine graph as I'm dividing this into four steps. So this is 24 hours. This is 12 hours, so half of 12 is 6. So 6, 12, 18. So you've got a step of 6 hours. So this is your maximum. This is your maximum. Uh, this is your baseline. I'll draw baseline with like this. Not drawn to scale. This is and this is your minimum okay so this is zero degree zero degree and zero hours okay so this is 14 degrees centigrade this is your minimum this is your baseline which is 15 degrees centigrade this is your baseline and your maximum is your Mm. Let me go back. I should use a smaller eraser. Mm. Uh, what's happening? I should use a smaller eraser. So this is Y. I want to write Y here. And this is 16 degrees. So this is this is what I was talking about. Even if uh, this is the amplitude. Okay, the distance between the maximum and baseline is amplitude, or the distance between baseline and minimum. The amplitude is 1, and if you know the baseline, you can find the maximum, which is 15 plus 1, which is 16. Now, as it's a sine curve, you know a sine curve starts at a baseline. So this is your baseline, starting at baseline. Then it's a positive sine curve. It goes to the maximum. So maximum here, then baseline. It's a cycle, minimum, and come back to the baseline which is yeah so your sine curve looks like this from baseline goes to the maximum comes to the uh, baseline this is your sine curve so the question is let's check this on the calculator so this is mm, what was the equation yeah this is the equation so menu graph and uh, execute 
and check your setting it should be in radians and then type in 15 plus sign bracket shift pi x which is uh, the variable divided by 12. We need to change the scale that's why it's important you draw the graph so you know what scale you have to we want a scale from 0 to 24 on the x-axis so 0 to 24 scale is a step the scale of 6 and dot and uh, I'll go from say 10 to 18 I'll go from 10 to 18 step of 2 and then draw it so this is your sine curve okay it goes up okay and we just want to confirm maximum is after six hours so g solve maximum is after six hours okay now the question is for how long is the temperature above 14.6 so let me show you 14.6 here so 14.6 roughly comes here so let me draw a straight l so here so this is 1t1 this is one T1 and this is the other T1 and I'll explain what it means. So, uh, let me move this slightly to the side. Okay, so this is your T1, this is your T1 and this is your T2. So between T1 and T2, you have your temperature below, this, this is your 14.6 degrees centigrade. This is your 14.6 degrees. So, between T1 and T2, the temperature is below 14.6. So, if you do T2 minus T1, will give you the duration of the time where temperature in the rabbit cage is under 14.6 degrees. And then I'll take away that number from 24 hours. Okay, so let me find. So, T2, so what is T1 and T2? We'll use a graphic calculator. So G sol, and then you want to find X calc when Y is 14.6. So one number is 13.6 hours. So T1 is 13.6 hours. So 13.6 hours is first value. So and T2 is 22.4. Okay, so let me move this 22.4. 22.4 hours. So I'll do T2 minus T1, which will give me the number of hours where the temperature is below 14.6. So 22.4 menu run 22.4 take away 13.6, which is 8.8 .8 hours is below. 14.6 uh, but the question is is above 14.6 so you have a period of 24 hours from 24 hours if you take away this so basically this is this part of the curve and this part of the curve when your temperature is above 14.6 so your answer is so temperature is above 14.6 degrees centigrade for 24 minus 8.8 .8 minus 8.8 .8, 24 minus 8.8 .8 is equal to 15.2 hours for 15.2 hours the temperature of the rabbit cage is above 14.6 degrees centigrade